Hello everybody, this is Havoc. Welcome to part 5 of our Great War, Total War, Great Britain campaign. This is obviously, as I've stated every time, the Great War, Total War is a total overhaul mod for Napoleon Total War. And uh, it takes place during World War One. We're playing as Great Britain and picking up where we were last time. We had a bug at the end when we were fighting this Austria-Hungary uh, blah, 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 army. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Look at you, loss. Oh, no, you're a dude. Excuse me. Uh, so, we ended it uh, over here. We have one more turn until we pick up some light mortars f to fill this army up. Uh, we have We're building an army. Excuse me, we're building an army over here. And to be honest, we probably should be building another army over here. So let's go ahead and work on that. Uh, we couldn't really do much. Won't worry about it. But yeah, so that's kind of where we are. We have eight regions, I believe. We need 20. It is early September of 1915. So we are just going to keep rolling. We'll see how everyone does. What is this? Join war against Denmark, a payment of a thousand. Sorry, cannot do that. Or I should say I don't want to do that. Good old Russia. And the German Empire. Um, auto resolve battle. We lost 47, that dude's dead. Alright, so, looks like we're making a fair amount of money. We recruited those light mortars. Um, let's see, Ami? I don't know why we did that. Um, I'm afraid that this army may be kind of buggy. So we're actually just going to auto-resolve. We only lost 102. There we go. Awesome. Let's move him into here. And uh, we're going to build a couple more units. We're going to go with... Uh, we could do a couple of conscripts. And then we could actually... Some rifle infantry probably be really good. I want to get some African rifles. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're repairing that two more turns. And we're good. Um, you know what? Can I zoom out anymore? How many more? I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need eight more trade ships. Nine, ten. I could field a full ten more trade ships. To really fill out our economy, so I'm going to do that. Um, and where should I move this army to? That is the question. We could move into, let's see, Austria Hungary. We are at war with them. We could take Munich. Munich would be a good, would be a good settlement for us, I think. And it is their southernmost territory. We would apply a lot of pressure by moving that on them. We only have 1130 left. This army would take these guys in a heartbeat if they could. And they could probably easily reach. Maybe not. This army could though. We'll just have to see how it works. Let's go ahead and end it. They decided to come this way. That's fine. Good old France. I don't know what they're doing with all those individual units. As annoying as Attila was with that regard in terms they changed it. And uh, I think they actually changed it with Rome too as well. Um, I'm actually really kind of glad they stopped that single unit thing. Because um, it was really annoying. It was really annoying to play against. <coughs> uh, construction report. We built a couple of conscripts, and we have a new general available, Henry Gordon Bennett. Very nice. Avernus. 
Two more turns and we'll have some King's African Rifles. Don't like that Austrian Hungary guy being right there. Uh, so we will continue to pursue him. Auto resolve that one. We only lost 37. Trait gained as a novice strategist. Plus one to command when attacking on land. Sounds good. Uh, we're actually going to get back in our own territory. I want to replenish before I continue forward. These guys are good. We got a decent army going there. And you know what? I'm actually going to build a massive industrial seaport. Proves export capacity plus five trade routes possible. A thousand to region wealth and enables the recruitment of all sorts of dudes, which are insanely expensive, I might add. It's like, do, are there even battles? Like, can you even fight a naval battle in this game? Because it's slightly insane. I mean, I wouldn't want to fight a naval engagement, if I'm being completely honest, because it's just like, it's way too expensive. If you lose troops, you're screwed. Whoa. Okay. Like you wait, I think it's like 26,000 monies uh, to have a single battleship. It's just like, ugh. No, thank you. We're going to hide out here. We could take Munich. Nope, not this turn. Okay, one more turn. We'll have some more African core. Research. Very nice. So we can research multiple things at once now. Heidelberg, you go after uh, Marxist socialism, soup kitchen, mass production. What does petroleum do? We're going to go ahead and go with that. Are these guys... Who are all these dudes? Interesting. Looks like we have some enemy... I don't really know what they're called. Whatever they're called. They're in our building. Don't like it one bit. But, again, there's really not a whole lot I can do. Those guys have three turns left. We could build a village. It probably wouldn't hurt to. Industrial Farming Collective would give us region growth. But over here, I could do a port district or I could build some more cargo ships. Let's go ahead and end the turn. I know we're wasting a little bit of time here. But I'm waiting on uh, the troops and rhymes to finish training. Looks like France is going to start moving some cargo ships. Which is fine. I guess I can't have everything. Join war against Italy? Uh, no, I cannot. I am sorry. I'm focusing on the German Empire at this moment. Technological advance. Uh, we're going to go and research destroyers. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think so. I think we need to move down the military core just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a smart choice. This army provides quite a pickle, but we're going to move on Munich. Uh, um, they are not going to surrender, so we'll auto-resolve. We only lost 26. We're going to peacefully occupy. We now own Bavaria. We will repair... Autonomy, level 4, minus 72% bonus to region. That's fun. Municipal administrations give us plus 15% bonus to income. Interesting, interesting, and we'll pair, repair that mill town. I'm not at war. 
I could actually go to war with these guys. What happens if I leave? They're a little mad. Two more turns and those guys will be good. Who else could I build? Put a couple mortars in with them. Ooh, snipers. There we go. I want to use those guys in battle and see. Let's see what their range is. Their range is 370. Holy cow. That is insane. You know what? I'm actually going to save this right here. Um, we'll just go ahead and save it as number 5. Because I want to fight this battle and I'm afraid that I might... Hmm. I don't like those machine gun turrets. Those bunkers. We're going to auto-resolve. We lost 479. I can't go after him again. But... I can't scooch right back over into my territory and replenish, right? Never mind. It appears that I can't. But that is alright. We got over here. Armies recruiting. Two more turns. Let's go ahead and drop uh, some old school mortars in there. And maybe a couple of more snipers. And some rifle infantry. And I've got another port somewhere. I know I do. Haha. -ha. There we go, and that's all I can afford. Let's see, look at this. Yeah, like the Invincible class. 23,275. It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright. We got one more, two more turns. Until those guys are good. Okay, aggressive the Netherlands. We're gonna have to enter the war. Um, hmm. Let's see. The aggressor is the Netherlands against Belgium. I'm gonna have to decline. We're gonna have to break that alliance. Can't afford that. Uh, Spain, military alliance. Uh, give me mass production. Oh, reject the offer. I apologize. France is schmoothing around. Really don't know what they're doing. Oh, they're at war with Italy. That's right. Petrograd and the German Empire is coming after us. Recruitment of those guys. And I think we're actually going to... We will repair that. I'm actually going to move. They'll be fine. Demand surrender. Peacefully occupy. Uh, we could recruit... There we go. We'll recruit some conscripts to help calm that populace down. We've got lots of recruits coming up with that guy. And we're going to attack these dudes again. They retreated, but we're going to push them. They don't stand a chance. We lost 38 troops. It looks like France is attacking, is besieging that army. It won't last, but uh, they're going to do it anyways, I guess. Let's go ahead and do a municipal administration. It makes more sense to do that. One more turn, and we have three more trade ships. I want to I wanna get some battle cruisers and do some battles. I just don't know if it's feasible. I don't know if it's even worth it.
Good old France. We've got quite the few armies there. Maybe you should go and attack, eh? Maybe. <clears throat> Russia? What are you doing? Such German Empire? Recruitment. You're a researcher. Where are you at? You're over here. A missionary on a mission. Uh, we will just research. Yes, really don't even want to mess with those guys right now. Letter of demands. But you see, they're fine now because we actually have some recruits. We're going to actually get a whole bunch of conscripts in there. We could honestly fight off these guys. Maybe not. What's so special about these dudes? Rifle Cav, Rifle Battalions, Landwehr, Jaegers. Um, let's save the current game. And, uh, yeah, we're going to fight it. Talbot Hobbs and Crispin Aladdin against Victor Teak. They have quite a larger, I guess, fatter deployment center than we do. That's a little strange. Now, we do very much outnumber them. I don't know why they're giving us such bad bad odds we're gonna get those guys and we are gonna pummel their howitzers so let's go ahead and get them all right here uh, ungroup Okay. Rifle cav on each side. They only have, what, six units? We can do this. I'm not even going to worry about bunkers. going to drop the 20th regiment over here and we're going to actually use these as backup starts the battle one you're going to fire on those howitzers don't tell me you don't have the range Whew. Fire when ready. Gonna go there. What is this? This is six. Go over here, two. We got three over here on the right flank. We're gonna move them up. This is what, five? You guys are going to stop. Those cab are just coming up a little faster than I want them to, or would like to see them. You guys are moving fast, that's good. Rifle cav. Run. Exchanging fast, ah! Take a few hits in the beginning. 
We'll be good. Especially once we get them flanked. And we got two units of rifle cav over here. And then I'll flank them on this side. With two more units of rifle cav. Here we go. Mow them down, boys. There you go. Get wrecked, son. We're going after those rifle cav. We're kind of out of range of these guys. Let's move up a little bit. Those guys are routing, so are they. Their whole line's gonna start routing. Here in a minute. Enemy general is dead. Very nice. Very nice. We are gonna continue. You guys are all going to go into melee. You're going to go after those guys as soon as... There's really not a whole lot left. But we're going to go after them. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Yep. We're just going to round up all the strays. Okay, I guess they're like completely dead. This just gets us some good experience, I think, for the cav. That's good. We're going to quit the battle. Close victory. I wonder how many we lost. We only lost 366. And yet they're still alive. Let's use our recruits. Auto resolve, we lost 127. It's to be expected with just recruits. We can go back here even though they are happy without us being there. Um, I could move on those guys, but I'm actually going to move back here and get some replenishment. And we also have three new units of trade boats, so we're going to move them down here. We have some money. Uh, autonomy. I think everyone, for the most part... That's the wrong one. Government. Trade. No objectives. I'm trying to remember... Where it shows the money. Policies, there we go. So you know what, we could build autonomy here. Build autonomy there. Build autonomy there. We will face a penalty. A trade penalty, but I think it'd be relatively minor. Alright, so. We appear to be securing our bottom flank very much so. We could go after Austria-Hungary. Um, or we could just focus on the German Empire. I'm not quite sure what I want to do just yet. It very much depends on what France does. Join war against Italy. They'll give us flamethrower core. A counter offer. Give me um, machine gun core. Or dope dope dope. Machine gun core. Unacceptable. Well, too bad. Russia seems to be doing its own thing. 
German Empire's back. Enemy raid. Oh, you dastards. How dare you. Won't last for long. Well, I lost 37. We can repair that. We're still... Let's see, we could recruit more, but we won't. Oh, this is my spy. Forgot about that. Uh, let's see where Vienna's at. See if we can't go after them there. We've got a sizable army over here. It's not the best, but it's certainly by far not the worst. We're going to give it a couple more units of rifle cav. And what else can I squeeze in for two turns? Could get some conscripts, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, and then technological advance. Destroyers, we're not going to work on machine gun corps. That's fine with me. One of you guys goes here. Rest of you go here. One of you lands there. One of you lands there. Uh, we'll go to government policies. Trade. Total income from exports. Looks like we have... Wow, that's a lot of money. Glitched, maybe, a little bit. These guys are actually all doing very well in their respective positions. So we'll keep them there. There's no reason to change that up. Switzerland's at peace. I see absolutely no reason to ever go to war with them. I have a feeling we'd probably get some bad juju against us if we did. So we'll just leave it be. Oh, Francie France. It looks like you lost a settlement, France. Did you lose that to the German Empire? Silly France. Silly, silly France. <laughs> Technological Advanced Petroleum Acquisition. We're going to do mass production. I'm okay with that. We have autonomy, massive industrial seaport and municipal administrations. Recruitment report, and it looks like we hit a bug. Very much hit a bug. Look at that. Apparently, since we have so many of the trade ports, we are making... Um, an infinite amount of money. Which, I mean, no one else is going there, so I might as well, right? I mean, it's not... It's not my fault. Or is it? I don't... I don't know. Uh, should I back out? Uh, you guys let me know what you think I should do. I mean, it's clearly a glitch. But I think it's because I've just gone and taken all the trade ports. I don't know. Again, guys, let me know what you think. Or do you think I should just continue going on? I'm going to continue. Nope. It's just a manner of... Uh, not even if I should, just... I mean, whatever, it's just... It's a little weird. Having infinite money. I'm not going to complain about it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and update all of these things. All these things that I can. The village over there. It's a village. Doop, 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 doop. See what I mean? Like, plus infinite money going to wealth. Uh, we need to take a couple of guys off and see if that fixes it. Nope, it still appears that we are making a ton of money. Even though, I mean, as I take people off of this, it's showing that I'm making less. I 
I think I'm just gonna have to take them all off. I may have to report that bug. Because that's slightly unrealistic, but it's fine. Like I said, it's fine with me because obviously I have infinite money, but at the same time, it's just... It's a bug. It's a bug. That's all it is. But that is also all we have time for today. I'm going to move this guy maybe further on to Prague. We are pushing on Berlin. That may be what I do. I may, because look, the German Empire's pushed all the way back to there. Uh, let's scoot this up. German Empire's right up here. If we could take Berlin, that would be a very, um, that would very much wreck their morale, I feel. Maybe it would do some damage. Uh, but overall, we did really well this episode. If I could find the objectives. We have 9 out of 20, uh, which I feel like we should have more. I don't know. But, we are doing okay. Obviously, we have that infinite money. And uh, I may just have to keep off all of my trade and see what bug that is going on. Because I really, it, I don't want it to be too easy. And right now, it's it's way too easy. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Uh, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. This is Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.